Typically, the number of syllables is equal to the number of vowel phonemes in a word. So if we have a word like pizzeria, 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 then we have four syllables, and the vowel phonemes are e, uh, e, uh. Okay, so we can add consonants on, and um, typically um, those won't add syllables. So I can have a word like t, t. I could add a consonant and make it tree, tree. I could add another consonant and make it treat, treat. I could add another consonant and make it street, street. Add one more consonant and I get streets, streets. So I can pile on those consonants, but I still only have one vowel phoneme at the core, and so it's gonna have one syllable. There are, of course, because it's English and this is how life works, there are exceptions. There are a few consonants that can not, they don't always, but sometimes they can actually be the heart of a syllable. So in this video, we're going to look at syllabic L. So there's just regular old L, okay? Regular old L would be like the word please, please. So there's an L in there, but it's not making a syllable. The syllable is made by the vowel E. But let's take another word. So if I have the word um, bottle, how many syllables? Bottle. So we have two. But what we're going to find is in the Sanka one, we could have a vowel phoneme. It can be pronounced with a vowel phoneme in the second syllable, but it can also be pronounced with a syllabic L. What does that look like? So let's do it with a vowel first. I can go ba dal 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 ba dal dal. And if my tongue releases, that part's the vowel, d-ul, and I go back for an L. And that would be a vowel at the core. But there's a little trick I can do to save some time and energy. I can put my tongue up for the alveolar tap and then just lower my jaw and let air off the side. So I can go ba dal 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 I'm lowering my jaw and it creates an opening where air can escape, which is making this extra syllable without a vowel being present. So that is a syllabic consonant. And the way we indicate that to show that it's not a typical L, it's sort of a special L, is we put a little diacritic underneath, okay? So other words, cattle, um, uh, bottle, metal, funnel, can all be syllabic, okay? Um, you can even have it um, not just with alveolar tasks, you can have it in other places. If I were to say the word table, I can say it with, an, uh, with a um, syllabic L. And what happens is, when my lips press together for the B, my tongue is already ready for the L. So watch, table, Ball, ball, ball. My tongue is already making the L while I'm still making the B phoneme, okay? Let me show you what it would look like with a vowel. Table, ball, ball, table, ball. And you can see that my tongue is raising for the L. So it's already in a vowel position and then it goes up for the final consonant. Otherwise, I can just do the syllabic. Table, it's already there. Ang, go, go, go. Um, what else? Staple, all right? So those are syllabic L. The number of syllables in a word will always equal the sum of vowel phonemes plus syllabic consonants. I hope that helps.